The city of Sanibel has its own unique way prepping for Helene. I'm Fox 4's Ella Rhodes, and the city says one of their major points for prepping on the island is making sure construction sites like this secure the property before it's too late. For two years, Sanibel has looked like this. Construction sites and crews hard at work. Eric Jackson with the city says storm preparedness looks a little different for the barrier island compared to the rest of southwest yeah, Florida. It's, it's, we're in a state of rebuilding still, um, so there's a lot going on. Since Ian hit the island so hard, they don't want to lose the progress they made. So city officials reached out to each contractor to make sure the sites are secure for the incoming weather. It's ongoing and really since the last big storm that we had with, with Ian, um, there, there's a lot of work being done on the island. So there could be material that, that is it's stacked or laying around. Um, so it's just important that they secure that and are ready for that. And they don't want to lose that. They don't want it damaged either. Go around, secure everything, make sure everything's picked up put in the sea containers so it can't get washed away and cause other damage. Stephen Plymeyer says it's part of the job as a contractor in Southwest Florida. It's going to have delays, you know what I mean? You just got to work around it. Locals say after everything Ian did, they're not too worried about Helene. It's like we've been through that part of it. So this is kind of like a no brainer. <laughs> it's kind of like no big deal. The city of Sanibel says the island's ready for Helene and asks that everyone prepare themselves too. On Sanibel, Ella Rhodes, Fox 4.